Hello Thinksters! Today's topic is Dijkstra's algorithm. It is based on selecting the next vertex determined by its cost. For that purpose, we will use a priority queue. Selecting from a priority queue means that the vertex with the highest priority, commonly expressed with the lowest cost, gets picked first. Contrary to the best first search algorithm, where priority of a visited vertex is estimated by the heuristic function, Dijkstra's algorithm exactly determines the priority of a visited vertex by assigning it the lowest cost. This cost is calculated as the sum of edge weights between the starting vertex and the visited vertex. The algorithm will reduce the cost of a visited vertex by an update if it finds an alternative path with a lower total weight. Our target vertex is marked as 6, and the starting vertex is marked as 5 with assigned cost of 0. Other vertices' costs are currently set to infinity, meaning we don't know the cost of reaching them and the edge weights are indicated above each edge. Each visited vertex, here in light blue color, is skewed with a calculated cost written as the right element in a tuple. When a vertex is explored, all its previously unqueued children are put to the priority queue. The algorithm starts by visiting the starting vertex with the highest priority or lowest cost, which is in our case starting vertex 5. After we explore vertex 5, marked in dark blue color, it gets removed as indicated by the red line from the priority queue and its children vertices, vertices 0 and 3, are added to the priority queue and their priorities are calculated. To simulate a list of mutually connected, explored and visited vertices, we keep the track of our path by successfully flattening the graph into a tree as indicated by the arrows. This way, if we find the target element, we will be able to backtrack to the starting vertex and reconstruct the search path. In the next step, we explore vertex 3 and visit vertex 4. Vertex 4 is calculated to have its total cost of 5, and here it is. In the next step, we will explore vertex 0, and at the same time visit vertices 1 and 7, and also calculate their costs, and these are 9 for vertex 1 and 7 for vertex 2. In the next step, we will choose the vertex with the highest priority, and that's our vertex 4. Now that we have explored the vertex 4 and removed it from uh, the priority queue, we can see that uh, vertex 4 also visited, previously visited vertex 2, and it reduced its cost from 7 to 6, and also cancelled its previous connection to vertex 0, and uh, by doing that, vertex 4 became, so to say, the ancestor of vertex 2, also indicated by this arrow. The next vertex to explore is vertex number 2, so when we do that, we will also visit vertex number 6 and calculate its total cost, which is 11, and uh, we will put it to the priority queue. Now that we have only vertices 1 and 6, once again we choose the one with the highest priority or the lowest cost, that's vertex number 1, so we explore vertex number 1, it didn't visit any further vertices and it just got removed from the priority queue and now we have only vertex 6 left to explore. Now that we explored vertex 6, we also kept its total cost of 11, it didn't get updated, and uh, the visit and explore part of the algorithm is complete. And Finally, the algorithm found the target vertex and backtracked the search path back, back to the starting vertex by visiting 6, 2, 4, 3, and 5. So, that's how the Dijkstra's algorithm works. Until the next time, see you!